All right, Rick Bozich, I think we've both uh, slept in a little bit after the national championship game went into the wee hours. It felt like it starts later and later every year, like the Kentucky Derby and like the Derby. I didn't pick the winner, but you did a little better in your bracket. What are you going to remember about this tournament from this year? You know, a number of things, Eric. One is St. Peter's and the way they took out Kentucky and Purdue. Two, the big fold of the Big Ten, nine teams in the tournament, only two made it to the Sweet 16, now 22 straight years without a national champion. And three, how incredibly fortunate and lucky Kansas was. Three of the games they won along the way, the opposing team's best player or second best player was injured and either didn't play or didn't play up to expectations all the way down to the final minute where Armando Baycott goes down on his already bad ankle. Kansas was living right. They are charmed, which Louisville fans I know are <laughs> not happy about because they still haven't come to judgment day with the NCAA yet. You know, the thing about this tournament and that, that I just can't get out of my head is how nothing we saw was very indicative of what we saw in the regular season. I would have actually bet money that Duke would not make a Final Four or that North Carolina wasn't playing well enough to make a Final Four, and yet they were two of the better teams in the tournament. They were both pretty solid, uh, if not for injuries. I think North Carolina would have won that championship game against Kansas. So that was it. Kentucky's early exit, and I, I think that it, it brings about a new kind of portion of John Calipari's Kentucky tenure. There are a lot of questions that he hasn't had to answer before at Kentucky that after a first round loss like that, people are going to be asking. You've got a good column about the tournament up at our webpage, wdrv.com. Go there and read it.